Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity 2. As I continue with my blind let's play. Last time we made it to the Ingwithan dig site, and we have uh, found another companion. We found Aloth. It is very good to have him back in the party. What is that symbol? Oh, that's the... Gotcha. Okay, so it's just active buffs. I'm here. So, we are gonna, like I said last time, we're gonna start at the top and work our way down. Uh, Audrey's pool... Yeah, before we go to this sub-level, yeah, let's let's start at the top. And we'll see what happens. Oh, that, that looks pretty. There is much to see in the lat. Oh, thank you. Um, actually, you know what, Jody, Zody, I need to really nail down what her uh, what her name is, or how it's pronounced. Let's see. You don't have any mechanics, so I guess actually, Aloth. I. I feel like he might. No, he doesn't. That's okay. No. Oh. Never mind. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. Please, pray for me. Okay, sure thing. Ooh, not everybody, not everybody. Uh, hang on. Okay, do that. I shan't miss again. And then, how about... Let's try that. Or actually, no. Change my mind. Happy to oblige. I'm here. With relish. Lava yeah. Beyond seek. Not what I was intending. Yeah. Yeah. Hang in there, Jody. That's it. <laughs> uh -uh, didn't work. There you go. All right, let's see. They got just regular equipment. Yeah, we'll stash all that. Happy to oblige. The statue bears elaborate detail from the buckles of a warrior's greaves to his curly locks. Oh, the music. Uh-huh. Well, you might find this interesting. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, we'll skirt around that way, but... Here, actually, what you know what? You Everybody, yeah. stand back, stand back. Yes. I'll do. Okay, so mace, large shield, and gauntlets of accuracy. Yes. Let's see. Um, I'm going to equip the gauntlets on myself. And then a dare. You have a medium shield. I wonder if you should carry the large. It will lower your accuracy for sure. I'll, I'll, I'll hold off for right now. Actually, what, what is that? Hang on. Small shield. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Training dummy blade is heavily notched from repeated strikes. I do like now that, uh, you know, with Jody's Lantern, uh, you know, it kind of gives off this light that we don't have to necessarily light a torch, but of course she's in the back, so not up ahead, but... You might find this interesting. Thank you. So glad I have, uh, you know, we will be able to perceive the traps at least. Like so. Oh, goodness. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Says near death. Um, so we have three points. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That's unusual. 
Okay, this whole place is just... Let's, let's get out. Let's get out. Okay, I see. Gotcha. So we got that pool in the foreman's quarters. Let's go to the quarters next. I want to talk to Aloth, which I know I can, but I'm going to wait until after we live, uh, leave the dig site. You know. Okay. Careful, I'm here. I was going to say, Aloth, oh, never mind. And actually, everybody attack this one. I don't think I can pull that off. Yeah, I got it. May I be a candle in the night? Happy to oblige. Oh, no uses left. Oh, so I guess that healing ability is not every combat, but every rest. I could be wrong about that, but, um, so it's not... We'll see. We'll see. Hi. How may I take that? Yeah! What can I do you for? Yeah? Hi. Okay, so yeah, his abilities come back. Hers mm -hmm. do not. Or wait, it does. Wait, then what is this? Oh, the pledge. Okay, I'm getting the- I'm- I'm so sorry, guys. I'm getting this mixed up. There we mm -hmm. go. Okay. I know just the- Let's see, uh, three- so we have ten in the stash. Yeah, we'll use it. It's done. Potions of money. Champion's medallion. Small Andre disc was apparently to be worn as a medallion. One side of the disc depicts a figure with its arms raised triumphantly above its head, a blade in one hand and a shield in the other. The other side of the disc has been worn smooth from which, uh, t with time and is unreadable. Oh, it's a quest item. Did I... what is this? Note to the foreman. One of the workers dug up this old medallion in the sub-level yesterday. I doubt Odorisi would be interested in it. And besides, it looks like it's worth something. Might be nice to surprise the crew with a bonus. Yeah, alright. And that's just that. Oh, nice. I do like how, you know, even though they're separate buildings and whatnot, um... How it's all kind of connected on one page. Okay. Let's try the pool next and then we'll uh, go to the sub level. And then before we go to the sub level, we're going to rest up to get rid of some of these injuries. Yeah, here we go. Nice. No, stop it. Okay. I'll go there. Uh, Aloth. Shoot your missiles. Bravo. I cannot Bravo. whack him any harder. Ah. Happy to oblige. Bravo, Beyond seek. Seek. Yeah, heal her up. Happy to oblige. Ha. Get There's a wall up in. Bye. Nice. How may I help? Oh, that looks really cool. A lot. I like a lot of the spell effects. How they uh, how they look in this one. I, I did in the last one, but it seems like they're more, I guess, more pronounced in this one. All right, I think that's it. Okay, this. Uh, I don't know if we have to do anything else here, but. Alas. Well, that was neat. Time to find Odorisi. See if he's still alive down here. Um. Oh, okay. I was about to say, where, where did everybody go? But yeah, they're they're out and about. Okay. Let's uh. Let's let's camp.
You know what? Have some fruit. And then that's that's fine with everything. I'm just going around appreciating the lighting and everything. It, it, it just looks so good. Alright. To the sub-level. I probably should have saved it, but that's okay. If nothing attacks me when we get in, I'm, I'm gonna save it then. Oh man, this is pretty. Alright. Time to save it. I'll take care of this. Let all champions pay homage to Exandros, for without him there would be no glory. Poor fools. They were unprepared for this. I'll <laughs> handle this. Yeah, I figured once I touched one it would uh make them go bye bye. Okay. I dare okay. check that room. Don't see why not. This is what I'm gonna try to do uh for the future. It's kinda you know, space the party out instead of all of us charging into a room, you know? Um, I don't know if that'll hold up, but we'll see. Art tech. Oh, that's just them. Whoops. That's okay. Yeah, Alright, now let's keep, keep going. Okay, two ways. How about this? Yes? The girls will head off this way, the boys will head mean? off this way. And before we do anything, let's save it one more time. Hey. Actually, I'll go with them first. Indeed. Careful. Yeah. I see them. Ooh, okay. So they're going there. I know this seems really foolish to do this. We'll see how they hold up. Happy to oblige. Happy to oblige. Feels like poison. Get threshed. Happy to oblige. Ain't you got the decency to die? Charge. Happy to oblige. Oh, that's not too bad. What can I do you for? Yeah, there we go. I hear you. Ooh, not a, not everybody. No, 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 stay back there. Yes. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of split up the party a little bit, you know? Probably foolish, probably very foolish, but, uh, yeah, I just thought I might would try. Okay, nothing really in there, from what I can see. You know, I might as well just, just go ahead and grab this. Walls here have collapsed inward, barring any further progress. Alright, so they're gonna hang out right there. So we got that pathway and that pathway, so yeah, let's see what mm -hmm. uh, Adair and Alof uh, come up with. Nice uh, symbols on the ground. In memory of Sama, beloved sim sister, I gift the statue. Praise to the bold-hearted Averix, master of the blade. Keeps going further down. Oh man, it's dark down here. Maybe we uh, should have Jody with us. Okay, e easy, easy. Okay. Is this door? No, it's not. 
Oh, the ornate bronze fixtures appear to be braziers. Suit lines the interior of their metallic petals, and you spy fresh coal beneath the uh, filled green uh, grating. Someone lit these recently. If you do the means, you might do the same. Uh, we could use a torch or the flint and tinder. Let's use the flint and tinder. Nothing happens for a moment, then a brazier ignites in a sudden rush of flame. So we lost that one. Before we light the torch, let's just take one more look around. Okay, so that's that. How much further does this go? It goes a little bit further? Yeah, it does. That looks ominous. Hang on, they're gonna hang out right there. Let's cut back. Oh yeah, no, that goes... We'll meet up there. That's a, that's a good meeting spot. Yes? Of course. And so Elseris and Jody continue down the pathway. No! No? You don't want to continue? I'm kidding. <laughs> but yes. Okay, and we're gonna save it. Oh, can't save one combat. There we go. Oh, I did it again. Now you guys hang out there. Hmm? I shall. You know what? Let's keep quiet. Let's stealth. Okay, there's that. I'm surprised how Okay, there's... what is that? Essence. Quietly, and then a wisp. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else up there. Indeed. There might be three of them. You know what, hang on. Let's back out. Let's back out for a second. We'll check over here. I'll handle this. I see a yeah, you do. What are these? Constructs. Okay. All in the darkness. One ready for raping. And I can't tell if there's any more of them. Um, I'll do this. Y'all, y'all back at it for a second. Yeah, we'll come back to them. What do you need? Uh huh. Let's check out this room. I see the wits. Ooh, there's uh, several of them. Oh, leave it to me. Ooh, there's a lot more in there. Yeah. That looks cool. Anytime you want a second win, but there, there you go. Aloth, you are out of first level. You are out of second level. Oh wow, that's it. Shoot. Okay. Did not realize. Hey. Oh, and there's more. Okay. Enough with this fun. Get out of stealth. Run back. I'm gonna say Jody and Elsaris hear the sound of combat and come rushing back. I also think once. Uh, Well, I guess they might have had it, uh, but once they, once we get uh, all, like you know, a full party, we can split off into threes or, or whatnot. What do you need? Hey. Hey. That's it. Oh well. Leave it to me. There you go. Yeah? Uh-huh. 
I'll take care of this. All right. I'll have this open in no time. I can't scale too low. Extra rod. Hammer and chisel and a note. I wasn't sure about the constructs at first. These new techniques may be less extreme than those eccentrics uh, like Galvino. Hey, Galvino. Uh, but it gets harder to remember that once the hul hulking things are moving around like large, noisy, witless dolls, the constructs require daily maintenance and they make the workers uncomfortable. Still, they've been an effective deterrent to the local wildlife. And I have to admit, I've started to feel safer with one of them standing nearby while I work. But Arisi despises the things, and avoids them if possible. That alone is considerable benefit. Hmm? Of course. So yeah. Let's uh light this. So you scarcely touch the flame to the brazier surface when it catches uh, with a hollow roar, the flame jets downward, moving to a narrow channel connecting both the brazers. Whoa. Okay. Well, hey. To you. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are we doing here? Uh, okay. So we go there. We go there. Nope. Nope. Wait, didn't I just try all three? That's strange. Hey. Okay. Oh. Gotcha. Nope. Hang on, guys. I'm so sorry. Um. Nothing happens. Let's see. I thought I tried that one, but I wasn't sure. Hang on. Yeah, uh huh. Then all of a sudden, Jody has a brilliant idea going back here and checking the shields. So that symbol, whoops. So that one. What can I do you for? And that one. And then where? What's the last one? Don't know. I cannot see it. But at least those two. So yeah, we'll try those. And then try the combinations. Hmm? So, that one, that one, and that. Nope. Nope. There we go. Hmm? Yes? Okay, Alceris. Of course. Go ahead. Gladiator sword. And a jade. Might have to give that sword to Adair. We'll see. Let's check it. Oh, hang on. Let's compare it. So, 17 to 24, 17 to 25. Less of that. Accuracy is more, it looks like. And then deflection, same. Recovery time takes more. But it has those additional effects. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take that. Hmm? 
I shall. All right, guys. Let us continue. Wait, is that a door? Oh no, that was the collapse uh, stairway. So yeah, we'll go back up here. And we actually will go here, I think. Face the constructs before we go up there. I see the wits of the attack. No can be. Hello. Lava beyond seek. How may I help? Charge. Perfect. Indeed. Okay, regular sword, pickaxes. I'll take care of this. And that's that. And we can't go any further down that way, so yeah. Now let's go up here. Careful. Let's and go. let's go there. Yep. Oh, kind of froze up there for a second, but that's okay. Okay, go ahead and heal. I hope nobody saw. If you can, you know what? Just do that. There you go. What can I do you for? Get thrashed. Sure thing. Gotcha, what just keeps going that way? Uh, let's try over here first. No, fall back. No, we don't need to fall back. Ah, lava room beyond seek. That's the way. I'll have to remember that. I might turn that off, the slow motion uh, animations, when we uh, kill something. Oh, and I think that was the the last symbol. Probably, it might be wrong, but... Doro the Reckless defeated seven beasts barehanded. Moss and grime have been scraped clear of large portions of this mule, being the vibrant hues of the within figures beneath. Dagger, Animancer hat, and a journal entry. It's been a stroke of unimaginable fortune to find an Audra vein in such pristine condition. The essence is so concentrated here that even from the far side of the corridor, the pillar's light pulses like a star. At times, I almost feel as if I can sense it, like the warmth of the sunlight upon the skin. We'll need to reinforce the central chamber before attempting further excavations. The ruins are unstable and Celo's motley workforce of savages and paupers grows more fearful by the day. With the assistance of a single Watcher, we could trace the essence of the pri in the primary vein and isolate those deposits worthy of extraction. I petitioned Director Castle in Nekataka for such a res uh, res resource, but I am continually rebuffed. It is unthinkable that the Valian Trading Company cannot isolate within their vast borders of its considerable influence, a single suitable candidate. I must assume that the wretched, alleged woman is hoarding them for her, faith, for her fanciful experiments. Transportation! As if we have time to expend on such frivolities. I'm gonna take that one just in case. Take all that. I meant to stash it, not give it to him, but that's okay. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. Alright, what's over here? Dagger, we're gonna give uh, Jody that. And Jade. Yeah. Alright, let's continue down this hallway.
There's that Archer Bane, it looks like. That's Odorisi. Oh god. I'm afraid to touch him. I don't want to kill him. I really don't. Um, but it looks like nothing else to do, so let's let's go. I'll handle this. Frozen mid stride, this grim figure has turned toward this colossal pillar of Audra that dominates the chamber. The ashen corpse's outstretched hand rests upon the crystal's dulled surface. Clutched tightly in the remnants of a fist is a blundered and is a sorry bundle of papers bound together by a leather cord. Several more pages are scattered on the ground at your feet. Odorisi was always a bit obsessive, but he was a good enough fellow. I hope this was quick, whatever it was. He leans forward, as if to close the figure's eyes or smooth its features, but merely clasps his hand with a troubled frown. As you pull the papers free, the ashen figure gripping them sloth away, disintegrating in a flying plume of dust? Oh man. Standing here by the lone figure, you are struck with the feeling of dread, the air around you. The very motes of ash and dust, all of it, is stagnant and still. The feeling grows worse when you look up at the Audra, and sense no energy flowing into its surface. It is as if though it is being disconnected from the wheel. You place your hand against the pillar of luminous Audra. A dim, warm light emanates from the surface, but it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers, uncomfortable, but not painful. A woman's voice, scratchy, distant, and halting, echoes in your mind. Find your soul in him. Sounds like breath. You concentrate. Peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding, but as you become accustomed to it, you perceive the core of the Audra itself. A churning mass of millions of soul fragments. With a jolt, the energy reaches out to you. The Anguithin ruin fragments around you, breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust falling into an infinite well of dark gray vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in-between. The Audra Pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads. You catch glimpses of memories, your memories, mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight, washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop, suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. The great golden cord terminates in his back, sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. From within the teeming throng of souls, dozens of eyes look out to you. Through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind. Somewhere within their ranks, you can feel the presence of your own soul slumbering deeper in the gyre. 
Well, frankly, Elseris will not go after her own soul. Uh, she, at this stage, is, you know, going to care about the others, so she's going to reach out to the Lost Souls. You reach out to the Lost Souls, but the incredible power flowing through Aethys' body repulses you. Not even your Watcher powers can penetrate the massive tides of energy crashing through him. The souls sense your efforts and attempt to breach the surface of Aethys' body, but are instantly pulled back down into the deep well of the statue's heart, as though they were pried from the edge of a great precipice. Aethys' stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy, mingled with profound sadness. You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. A soothing voice drifts into your mind. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between, even for a Watcher. A swell of admiration radiates out from the God's heart. A force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. A great light shines from Aethys' brow. So bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys' massive arm reach up to grasp the golden cord. The tether, carrying energy from the Audra Pillar to him, that also suspends your consciousness. Aethys, what does that mean? The sun will yet rise, Watcher. You need only wait for its light to come. Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant Pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment, before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The in-between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned to the Anguithin Arena. The world is sideways, the Audra Pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra Pillar. Previously dim and flickering, the pillar now glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again, but the chill and prickling sensations you felt before are gone replaced with a comforting warmth, like the embers of a fire that has just lost its flame. Interesting. As you return to the world, you feel a hand on your back. You all right? Come on, we just got you back. Despite his tone, you can see genuine concern in Adara's eyes. I'm going to be completely honest with him. I'm not sure. Well, if you're not sure, now I'm worried. I've seen you commune with souls of the dead, but this looked altogether different. What happened? Well, um... I'm going to say this. Thousands of suffering souls were trapped within Aethys. I was powerless to help them. I don't believe the god of rebirth wishes souls to suffer. If he's harvesting them, he's got a plan. He, he probably does, but we'll see. What did Gon say? Is he gonna meet us? What do we do next? He charged you with a divine calling, didn't he? Just like he's done for me. Aloft flashes a quick, pleased glance. What does this mean? Dutiful, okay. Uh, let's see. I saw more luminous Audra in his path, but he told me not to follow, that something beautiful is coming. I wonder if he said the same thing to people in Ray Saris 20 years ago. Right? I wonder what he's after, and why he's been giving me these dreams. 
The things I've seen, they leave a mark on your soul. I may not know what Gon's got planned for me, but clearly he wanted me to meet you. Aloth hums approvingly. What can I do you for? I'll All take right. care of this. Oh no! Uh, well, what's done is done. Whoops, I, I didn't mean to destroy him. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> but interesting now that this is glowing again. Alright, let's uh let's get out of here. Oh and I just realized we're all we all uh leveled up. So how about... I do... I'm gonna do more... Uh, should I? No, I'm gonna increase more athletics just for right now, and then... Timmy's 3, Streetwise 2, Survival 2... Let's do more Diplomacy. So yeah, self and then plus three of the party. Okay, so seven total. Gotcha. Yeah, let's do that. And then how about... Yeah, let's do that one. Uh, converts uh, grazes into hits on attacks maybe with a proficient weapon. Oh, we can gain another uh, proficiency. Uh, let us do... You know what? I'm tempted to do pole axes. Yeah, the heck with it. Let's do uh, pole axes. I might... Uh... Yeah, let's, let's do it. I might get a good uh, pole axe later on. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Adair, you're next. And you're gonna get more survival. And then instead of athletics, how about you do explosives? So yeah, you're gonna do... Yeah, that one. And you also get a, a weapon, so... Wait, do you not have swords? Doesn't look like it, so you're gonna now get swords, since I just gave you that weapon. Let's see, just double check, yep. Wait, what is this one? Daggers? Yeah. I just wanted to make sure I was selecting the right one. Okay, Jody. Or Zody. Let's see. Have more religion. And then how about... Yeah, how about alchemy? Put more points into that. Okay, so... Spiritual weapon... Okay, so we can set, like, a trap. Cause them to become prone. Ooh, that actually... Yeah, let's grab that one. Actually, I just realized, I'm assuming we can only do that during combat, and not set that up. No, let, let's... Yeah, let's still get it, but we'll, we'll test that out. Okay, you have shields, and you, of course, you have hatches. Also have a crossbow, apparently. Um, I don't know what other weapons to to give her. You know what? Yeah. Give her a mace, just in case. And then Aloth. Arcana. 
And then either metaphysics or insight for you. Or history. Ooh, all those are really good. Um, bit of knowledge metaphysics deals with animancy, Audra, the wheel, the in-between. Ooh. So I'm thinking either history or metaphysics. We already have that. So yeah, let's do metaphysics. Oh man, we have a lot of options. Um, goodness, I don't know. So we have the target spirit inflicting corrosive damage. Also, we just smash enemies with the grimoire energy. Locking them back. Target becomes paralyzed. Uh, just bear with me, everybody, as I'm kind of looking through some of this. Duplicates the cast. Oh, yeah, the mirrored image. Actually, I might go for that one. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Okay. Versus gaze. Sees the enemy's uh, weaknesses and vulnerabilities. That'd actually be really handy. Of course, Ray of Fire, which we had last time, but we're going to hold off, I think, on that one. What is this one? These are Vital Essence. Infuses the caster with vitality, granting them uh, the fit and smart inspirations. I think what I'll do is get Mirror Damage for right now. And then... You have Scepters. Might give you a Wand as well. Either that or a Rod. Let's give you a wand. Alright. So yeah. Uh, sounds like, yeah, when Aethys came through here, all the, the souls just went straight to him. Oh. Uh, or most of them, I guess. Oh, wait. So as the souls move past you, some turn their heads in your direction, but most seem fixated below you on the Audra pillow beneath your feet. A few nod their heads in thanks or raise a hand to acknowledge your presence. What do you see that I can't, Watcher? Ooh. Um. So I'm going to be honest with her now. You know, I didn't let on last time, but I'm going to say souls. Dozen of, dozens of them, maybe hundreds. They're all going to the Audra Pillar. All of them? Really? She strokes the cage of her lantern, appearing lost in thought. A small group of souls have started to cluster around you. One of them is standing a bit closer than the others and gestures for your attention. Watcher, we'd like to come with you. I'm tempted to tell them why not the just the Audra Pillar, but you know what? Of course, I'll protect you. You have our thanks. We appreciate that you showed us the way to the Audra. But what if it goes dark before we reach the beyond? The other soul's not in agreement. Can I harvest the souls now? Aloth nods, a quiet smile. Uh, of, of course, uh, Jody. Thank you for aiding my mission, Watcher. I just knew you'd help me if I followed you. So he glides her hands in a series of motions that resembles a martial art, an intricate dance. As she slides in a circle around the area, she begins swinging her lantern faster and faster from her body until an imperial light flares from inside. The lure is answered and several souls change course, drifting past the lantern's cage to the spear. Thank you, Watcher. You're welcome. Ooh, let's uh, turn off fast mode. There she is. We will remain here to see to our dead. We will remain here to see to our dead. Got it. Well, best of luck to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let us get out of here. Let us leave. Fantastic dungeon. I really enjoyed it. And I hope to, in the future, um, you know, continue kind of splitting up the party. 
uh, during dungeons and whatnot. Might be kind of foolish not keeping everybody together, but I don't know. Um, I think that'd be kind of fun though if we can if we can manage it. All right, so with that said, I think everything's pretty much explored from what I can tell on this island. Time to go back to civilization. Kind of interesting, we still can't go to this place. I don't know why. Okay, so yeah, we click on it, it tells us the point of interest. Oh, we can just maybe go to him? Oh, uh, we can just go directly. Well, that's interesting. Um, yeah, let's do it. And that's neat. On the map, it even went directly to where his estate would be, I think. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Yep, and now we're back into the estate. That's really awesome. Alright, Clario, we have your notes. What can I do for you? I have the information about the dig site. At last, Belfetto, tell me please, what has happened? How much have we lost? I must... I must know. Dude, I, I know you care about the profits, I know you care about the information, but there was a lot of people that are dead over there. Um, I saw the same destruction Anthus wrecked on Cadnua. Odorisi is dead, along with most of your animancers. I... I see. And the work? Odorisi's notes? Was there nothing of his research? Ooh. Ooh, we could lie. But I'm not going to. I'm gonna give it to him. Because he's been taking care of our ship and everything. Or we we found the notes. You did. Gods be kind. Claria takes the bundle of notes from uh, from you with a bar barely restrained urgency. Within moments, he is flipping through the papers, his eyes sweeping back and forth across the pages. Belfetto, Belfetto, we are saved. <clears throat> he lets out a relieved, almost giddy laugh, looking up with you with a toony grin. Or sorry, Toothy, I'm so sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, a grin he hides soon after, beneath a cough, after a look of some regret. That is, Odorisi's legacy is not wholly lost. I like to believe the man would find that pleasing. Ah, <sighs> hopefully this wasn't a mistake, but thank you for looking after my ship. You say this is all the work of the Titan, of uh, Aeotis, and you still insist on looking for him? Indeed. He destroyed your ship, killed my people. Would it not make more sense to sail to the far side of the world and away from all this? This is the god of light we're talking about. You, you are too trusting in your superstition. Believe in what you have seen and felt. The death of every man and woman at that dig site. Well, a Aethys is using an, uh, Audra Pillars as an energy source. If I can find more, I can find him. Merla. He will ravage every outpost in the Deadfire. That Adra is why we are here. Why everyone is here, in truth. The Valian Trading Company. The Royal Deadfire Company. Countless mercenaries. So the Royal Deadfire Company, a trading company owned by the Ratuan government and largely staffed by the current and former members of Rautai's considerable navy. It imports stable foods and commodities in the resource uh, and commodities to the resource poor Ratunian mainland. You'll want to go to Nekataka. Queen Onekaza II rules there at the Kahanga Palace. Anyone seeking to do business in the Deadfire Archipelago must negotiate with her first. The Queen knows every other vein of worth in the Deadfire. I'm certain she can help you. That is, if she agrees to see you at all. And that's where I'm going next. And for that, you need your ship. I'll arrange it with Ekawa. 
Between the two of us, I'm certain we can gather the workers we need. Head down to the beach once you are ready to depart. Thank you for all your help. I greatly appreciate it. Bon piaco. It is only right. After all you have done for me. I won't keep you further. You have a long and very strange journey ahead. Some advice. After you have had your audience with the Queen, seek out the Valian Trading Company. They make their headquarters in Nekataka, and the company always appreciates good health. I might just do that. Thank you and, and farewell. All right, let's go, everybody. So the next quest, or the update, reach the city of Nekataka. And it's raining. All right, we're gonna head, I think, before we head out to the boat. I need to stop calling it a boat. It is a ship. It is a ship. <laughs> um, before we head to the ship, we're gonna go to the tavern and uh, rest up. Because after that dungeon, we all deserve a rest. Still kicking, eh? What'll it be? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I like a room. Sure thing. The skippers stay. Let's rest up. And we have a good bit of money now, so... At a 15% discount. You know what? Crew's getting antsy. Maybe we cut them loose. We're not leaving anytime soon. Let's go upstairs uh, really fast. I know we've already uh, looked upstairs, but um, there we go. I like. I just. I love how you know the music um, is like faintly in the distance and whatnot. Okay, so. Uh, I think this is actually where I'm going to cut this episode. Uh, next time, the reason I came up here, next time, you know, since we just rested in this room, uh, I'm actually going to talk to some more of the party, you know, and uh, especially Aloth, find out more information, and then go from there. Get, uh, you know, go back to the ship and start heading to Nekataka and just start exploring in general. I am really looking forward to that. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this episode and taking time out of your day to watch it. Wherever you guys are, have a good day, have a good night, and take it easy. <laughs>